I was approached by two men that were representing Congressman Jesse Jackson, Jr. They were in the Indian community, the South Asian community. Very unsophisticated guys, I thought. Um, and came to me saying that uh, they would, in, in order to assist Congressman Jackson to be uh, considered and awarded the Senate seat, one guy offered $1.5 million, and the other man offered $6 million. Each time I told them, Rod is going to do the right thing for the people of Illinois. It's not about money. And I seriously doubt that he'd ever appoint Congressman at that time, Jesse Jackson, to anything. I read the 302 reports on Raghu Nayak and Rajinder Bedi. Those were the two men that had approached me. Raghu Nayak, in, in particular, was very interesting to me because he said under oath to the FBI and a U.S. attorney that he had met with Congressman Jackson early in October of 2008. These gentlemen approached me on October 28th and 31st of that same year. That he had had a conversation with Congressman Jackson, and Congressman Jackson was encouraging him to come talk to us about money in the Senate seat. But it was very clear to me that Congressman Jackson was the man who empowered these two emissaries to come talk to us about the United States Senate seat. And it is my view that Congressman Jackson was allowed to get away with a federal crime because the U.S. Attorney and the FBI knew all of this from their interviews uh, of witnesses and the people uh, in the center of this. Father Ryan, what do you say about Jesse Jackson Jr., who stole three quarters of a million dollars and spent less than two years in jail, and your brother, who stole zero with a line through it, money, is in jail for 14 years. The question is clarifying in and of itself. Um, as I mentioned, um, I thought Congressman, former Congressman Jesse Jackson got away with a federal crime. Uh, I've been asked that question many times, uh, and my brother's sentence was disproportionately harsh and unfair. And when Jesse Jackson Jr. Uh, pled in federal court in Washington, D.C., he spoke to the media very briefly where he said, I'm now taking responsibility and I'm manning up for what I did. And I have said repeatedly in response to that, well, Jesse, when are you going to man up for trying to buy the Senate seat? And I don't expect that that will ever happen. But it speaks, Father, to the unfairness of the system. I believe this prosecution was an agenda-driven prosecution to bring down another city, Illinois governor, and they used anyone that they could to bring him down, including his brother, uh, who they knew had done nothing wrong. Next question. Ron Stewart, graduate, automatically moves on up the letter.